everyone, and welcome to my guide for Isaiah. My man! The gun man! If you saw my previous video about this glorious ass legend, you'll know that I like him quite a bit due to his large amount of guns. Anyway, I decided to take up the task of playing Isaiah because I kind of have this like morbid curiosity of playing bad legends and I don't really know why. I guess I really just enjoy dropping Elo, I guess. However, after playing him, I honestly was pleasantly surprised. He's not actually the most awful legend in the game. He's like, dare I say, pretty great, and would probably be even greater if I wasn't complete dog meat at guns. Isaiah has 5 attack, 6 dexterity, 7 defense, and 4 speed, and costs 5,400 bitcoin. Isaiah uses a cannon called the Ol' Faithful, and blasters called sidearms. His skins are Call of Duty, Call of Duty Ghosts, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Call of Duty Black Ops, and take a wild guess. That's right, Revolutionary War TD. Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. I am the sharpest tool in the shed. Sh Although I usually complain about the lore for being interesting enough to put on the screen, but not enough to read it, I actually found a cute little nugget of interesting information that I'd like to share with the class. And my tidbit of fun fact for the day is that Isaiah is apparently in a techno-fantasy Europop band with Ada, Olgrim, and Fate. I mentioned this in my previous Isaiah video, and I'm going to mention it again. Why are there no skins for this? Tell me a single reason why band members' skins for Isaiah, Fate, and Ada and Olgrim <laughs> would not sell. Why, like, besides, you know, the fact that maybe nobody plays Isaiah, but... <laughs> Welcome to my new segment I'm making for these guides. I gave it a cute little name and everything. I call it Rapid Fire Rundown. The purpose of this segment is to have a single part of the video that's entirely focused on giving, well, the rundown of how to use each weapon without consuming as much time, and also so you don't have to skip around multiple times if you already know the basics of the weapons. With that out of the way, let's get this shit started. Before I hit you with that rapid fire rundown, <laughs> I'd like to get some basic terminology out of the way. So a string is basically a string of attacks that you can dodge out of, while combo is an attack chain that you can't dodge out of. You might also hear them being referred to as true combos, which basically means the same thing. It's just kind of reaffirming the fact that you can't dodge out of them. Because sometimes you can do a combo and then it won't land true, or basically you did it too slow and they can dodge out of it. A signature, or sig, is a heavy attack. It's what makes every single legend in the game different besides their stats and weapons and, you know, you know what they look like. And so it's like the X button on the keyboard or whatever it is on a <laughs> controller. A spot dodge is where you dodge in place, and if you spot dodge in the air, you can do something called gravity cancel, where your momentum is stopped for a brief moment, and this kind of gives you a frame of time to like pretend like you're on the ground and hit attacks or use attacks that would normally only be used on the ground. So like a side sig, for example. Edge guard is where you, well, <laughs> guard the edge, and hopefully that one's pretty obvious. I don't think I needed to explain that, but um, that's about it, so, you know, now for the rapid fire run Ken has an insane amount of strength potential, but is decently punishable and lacks range for most of its attacks. Sile is the easiest attack to land in my experience because it kind of swipes upwards, making it a bit more difficult to punish in the air. It can combo with side air or neutral light, as well as be stringed with down air or down light. Downlight has much more range, but is extremely punishable in the air since it doesn't swipe up like sidelight. Use it when the other player isn't going to jump for whatever reason. You can combo it with down air, side air, and starting at around orange, neutral light, which I only learned when some guy pooped on me with this combo, since it's not a very obvious combo when I was playing around with it in training mode. You can also string it with neutral light. Neutral light is my favorite attack on cannon since it travels a ridiculous distance when you hit it, but keep in mind it's extremely punishable if you miss. Another disadvantage is that there aren't any combos with neutral light that I could find, but you can string it with down light, down air, 
or even another neutral light, which honestly works better as a dodge read than anything else. Side air is very similar to lance side air and is very punishable. It's great for hitting people off the ledge and killing, as well as a dodge read by pairing it with a chase dodge. Down air also works very well as a dodge read. Neutral air is useful when the other player is floating since it's very spammable and not easy to punish, with the only exception being spears down air. Recovery's hitbox is nuts, but it doesn't seem to kill on its own very often. It's not as toxic as say like bow recovery, but you can use it to kill if they are already decently high in the air for whatever reason, including another recovery. You can also use it to kill if you are on the far side of the map by using it as a jump read. Now for guns. Downlight is very hard to land, but you can combo it with side air, neutral light, and side light and deal some pretty good damage. Pretty much only use it when you know for sure you'll land it since it's very punishable. Side light is very fast and has very good range, but it has a dead zone in the middle, so you're pretty fricked if you miss it. There aren't any combos for it though, so you're going to want to use it mainly to poke, but you can string it with a side air for more damage. Side air is also very fast and covers a huge area if you side air while falling. You can combo it with down light, neutral light, and side light, it can also be stringed with down air. Down air is pretty nuts since it catches people really easily. A useful engage is to dodge and jump down air since you can hit grounded enemies with it. You can also string it with neutral light and side air. You can also use down air after a down light, neutral light, or a falling side air for a string with some really nice damage. Neutral air excels at punishing people in the air since the only attack that will have priority over it is spear down air. It is a ridiculously fast attack as well, so there's virtually no risk in doing it. Unless you're going against a spear, in that case just kinda, you know, give up, but you know, that's besides the point. Recovery is kind of a dangerous attack since it has very little range until the last few frames of the attack, and a solid 90% of the time you aren't going to have priority over a ground pound unless the other person whiffs. With that being said, it's pretty decent if the enemy jumps towards you a lot since that can probably catch them. The best part of this attack is the mobility that goes with it, allowing you to kind of bait a punish by going forward and then quickly backing up. So if that's the type of thing you want to do, you can do that. You can also string it from a neutral light for a pretty useful kill string. I'm done talking about these weapons now, so let's talk about my homie Six. All life in hardland for our time I ghost. Your time is part time I off try and close. Isaiah's side sick causes Isaiah to fire his cannon while walking, menacingly, while his drone follows him. When he hits someone with his cannon fire, his drone fires a rocket at the target and deals a total of around 28 damage. Regardless of when you land the SIG, it will always do the same amount of damage because the walking animation is cancelled and the one with the rocket will play, causing you to hit the target for the same amount of times. This SIG is undeniably awful. It has horrible range, it's slow, and it's ridiculously easy to punish. One thing it has going for it is its really long active frames, causing people to sometimes run into it when they expect the SIG to stop earlier. It also has a pretty low amount of starting frames. Frame. So if you're like, you know, make out sexy time distance from your opponent, you have a decent chance of landing the SIG as well. These startup frames also make it useful to string with after side air during low damages and in the neutral game where the dodge frames are still fairly low. You can also use it as a decently risky dodge read if you're confident enough and you're just kind of like into that kind of thing, you know what I'm saying? The biggest issue with this SIG is that cannon just wasn't made to land this kind of SIG. Side air is literally the only attack on cannon that puts the other person even close to the SIG's range the rest of the attacks lift them up, making the SIG really hard to land. On the flip side of the coin, Cannon Down SIG is probably the best SIG in his entire kit. It causes Isaiah to hang on to his drone, moving him forward. On release, Isaiah fires a rocket diagonally that explodes after a short distance or upon colliding with the player or the ground, dealing around 26 damage. This SIG is honest to god what elevates Isaiah from bad to pretty alright. It's straight up one of the best edge guards on any legend in the game ever, competing with the likes of Scarlet's Hammer Side Sig, Sidra's Cannon Neutral Sig, and Rayman's Axe Neutral Sig. And that's because it's just so damn fast while still keeping some decent distance. It's just impossible to dodge. I mean, just look at this. How is this fair? Where's the counterplay? How do you punish this bullshit? A useful thing to note about this SIG that's often overlooked is that you can hold it down for quite a while. Similar to Rayman's Axe Neutral SIG, but less completely fucking ridiculous and why is this SIG in the game? This holding down thing can not only be used whenever the other player is starting to dodge your edge guard to keep them on their toes, but it's also a completely bonkers fucking dodgery that's relatively 
relatively hard to punish. I don't really know why I wrote bonkers in the script, but I'm just gonna go with it. Although this sig isn't particularly stringy, a crazy ass kill string at orange health is down light down air side light down sig. Neutral sig causes Isaiah to aim his cannon and fire upwards diagonally, dealing around 27 damage. This sig is basically down sig, but it goes upwards. However, this sig is just barely not useful, and let me tell you why. The angle is like too high for you to reliably land it. I understand that it's this high so you can string it with down light, but the trade-off just isn't worth it, man. Because of the distance, it hardly travels horizontally at all, making it nearly impossible to land since there's not a single reason for anyone to be where this rocket goes. You need to be lower to land bow down air and right above someone to land spear down air. So tell me, where the fuck would I ever use this sig? Not to mention that the rocket hitbox is literally the size of my entire dick, so even if you do have an actual shot at landing it, there's still a good chance that you'll just miss anyway. It is useful for pressure, however, since it's a pretty fast sig, therefore it's hard to punish unless they are right in front of you, and you still do have the possibility to land it if they are floating quite a bit. For strings, you pretty much just have down light neutral sig, which is by the way, a really good string, and the only has 5 dodge frames, even at 150 damage if you land it correctly. Take advantage of the fact that Blue Mammoth decided that this string beats the advantage of having a functional neutral sig and use it. Cannon is designed to have an aggressive and stringy playstyle, which is why it's currently my favorite weapon in the game. Try to string people as much as possible until they are low, and then they rather die or fall off to the side of the map. At that point, pressure them with a down sig and neutral sig, but use them sparingly, especially neutral sig, since sigs are things that can indeed be dodged. Use them enough to where the threat of them being used is present, but not guaranteed. Gee, Tyler, it's almost like you explained what pressure means or something. Be careful not to be too aggressive with cannon because cannon lacks true mobility. Even though you can string people to the opposite side of the map in a heartbeat, every singular attack you do doesn't really supply you with too much range or movement to prevent you from being easily counterplayed. Your only form of mobility comes from your side air which serves as a useful tool as that, as well as returning to a ledge when you normally couldn't. Keep in mind though that it's very easily punishable, more so than lance side air because it still doesn't have that much range and is slow. So basically Imagine if Lance was actually punishable and had hot penis vagina bang bang sex with Scythe. But won't lie, I trolled by my whole life and knows that you are right, but not me, a die piece and lone fight. Blastered side sig is like its older brother's side sig, but better in pretty much every way besides the whole dodge read thing. Which is okay since you're using guns. The side sig causes his drone thing to tase the shit out of someone like a wild freaking you know, animal. Whilst tasing, Isaiah runs forward and shoots the player with his gun, dealing a total of around 25 damage. This sig has very good range and is decently fast. Unlike the cannon side sig, the active frames continue even if the drone doesn't hit. Sometimes, people try to punish the sig too soon and and they end up getting hit by it. This also causes the sig to become way more punishable than it would otherwise, so better than a different sig doesn't necessarily mean the sig is any good. And that rings especially true in this case. A useful string for the sig is to hit the edge, and I mean the EDGE, of your side air for a pretty low dodge frame string during the neutral game. Another nice string is downlight gravity cancel side sig. Down sig is shitty cannon down sig. It causes Isaiah to blow up a small area in front of him somehow and mark the spot with a laser point. Upon releasing the SIG, a drone fires a rocket at this spot. As I just said, this SIG is a shitty cannon down SIG because it serves the same purpose of an edge guard, but is much, much, much slower. One thing that could be useful when using the SIG though is that it's not apparent at all that you can hold down this SIG. In fact, I only found out about it when testing out this SIG for the guide. You can therefore use this as a good bait, as I'll be surprised if literally anyone ever will predict that you hold the SIG down. It is pretty good at dodge reading as well since you can hold it down and therefore use it for downwards or inwards dodge reads. For strings you have side air down sig, down light down sig on the air for an all right edge guard string, and down light gravity cancel down sig. Neutral sig cause Isaiah to fire a laser thing diagonally and oh my fucking god they figured out how to angle neutral sigs. I really like this sig, mainly because its hitbox is long while still being a very safe sig, making it great for edge guarding or hitting floaters. Strings include neutral light neutral sig, side light neutral sig, and down sig neutral sig if you're trying to be as toxic as humanly possible. Down light neutral sig works at 140 damage and can be true at around 100 
150 damage in high year. You have to be super close to the other player though for it to be true, or even to hit it if their damage is on the lower side. As a bit of a disclaimer, I'm complete dog shit at blasters, and I can barely handle gold players with them. However, that doesn't mean I can't offer a halfway decent explanation on how to use them. Hell, if I actually used my brain while playing this game, I bet I'd be a lot better at blasters, but that's besides the point. Also, since I absolutely hate the name blasters, I'm referring to them as guns for the rest of the video. Guns aren't specialized in huge strings or particular swiftness, even though not some of the fastest air attacks in the game, but in spacing. You have the best overall range in the game, making positioning more important than spending 10 hours in a custom game practicing strings over and over again. I'm not saying there isn't a benefit to them and that there aren't any strings for guns. Hell, just look at a pro play the game and you can tell that that's not the fucking case. But knowing these strings aren't going to make you good at guns. Instead, being able to damage while remaining safe is what makes guns so nuts. You can just poke people down to red health and there's just nothing anybody can do if you're good enough. The only poorly protected area is below you since down air doesn't have nearly enough range to outprioritize a lot of attacks from different weapons. But besides that, you're a goddamn fortress, dude. Something I see a lot of newer players do, including myself, is spam downlight since it has a lot of true combos, but downlight is actually not that good unless you're totally sure you're going to land it since the range is very, very, very small. Instead, poking with side air and side light while dodge reading with downlight and neutral light is a much better way to go. But what do I know? I suck dick, so just use your best judgment if anything I said here sounds bullshitty. Everybody stand up. I get a I know I say this in virtually every single guide I make, but Isaiah's weapons complement each other extremely well. Cannon is a very ballsy and stringy weapon while guns are ridiculously safe, making no matchup excessively awful. Probably the weakest matchups against Isaiah are Gauntlet, Sword, and Scythe. Gauntlets are only rough if they stay within your range since guns have a lot of dead zones in its kit, and Cannon is an okay matchup at best. Swords are also painful against guns for the same reason as Gauntlets, but they're really good against Cannon as well since swords are really good at punishing. Scythe can hit from a lot of areas that are pretty much unpunishable for both cannon and blasters for the most part, unless they really fuck it up. Down air in particular is really strong against Isaiah. Every other weapon I believe has enough counterplay that is hopefully evident enough for me to not explain in this guide, but if it isn't, there's a comment section, so you know, I mean, you can probably solve that issue through that method, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know. Isaiah isn't the best legend in the game, <laughs> not even close, but god Damn if he's fun to play, and also play against. None of his SIGs, you know, besides Cannon Down SIG, feel particularly bullshitty, and I just enjoy some variety for once. You know, seeing another Mordex or Diana is not nearly as exciting as seeing an Isaiah. Like, if I lose to a Fate or Mordex, I can bitch about how they're overpowered, and they've been overpowered for so fucking long, but if I lose against an Isaiah, I'm like, alright, you win. <laughs> cool, you know? So in conclusion, buy him, so I can have more fun. Thanks. Bye-bye. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <coughs> 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 my throat. <coughs> Fuck. Ugh.